Good morning everybody. Just doing a short video today. Um, this will go out just before Christmas, uh, Christmas Day that is. Now I know that not everybody will celebrate Christmas but um, it's a season of good cheer and goodness knows we need a lot of that in the world right now. So I just wanted to do a very quick video wishing everybody all the very best for the holiday and the new year of course. I'm not expecting to get anything remotely creative done today. Uh, this is the first day we've had of mild temperatures in about a week and uh, everywhere is absolutely soaking wet. So from that point of view, I'm having to stay on the tarmac roadways and footpaths. You can hear the parakeets calling in the background, no doubt. Um, I've come out with the EM1 Mark II and the 12 to 40. And that's something I wanted to mention to you because I have made a decision. By the time you see this video, I will have posted the one comparing the 12 to 40, this one, to the 12 to 50 power zoom. And <laughs> I've made my decision. I will be keeping the 12 to 40. It's really a question of whether I keep the 12 to 50 and hang on to it as a spare because in all honesty it's probably not going to get used a great deal um, or whether I sell it. That's the only dilemma I'm left with and uh, that's a decision I'll make in the new year. If I were still shooting professionally there'd be no question I would keep it. Um, you know, even, even though I try and be careful with all my equipment, Sod's law dictates that at some point a lens or a camera can either be dropped or develop a fault. And therefore you do need to have backups, but I'm no longer in that situation. And uh, in all probability, that lens, the 12 to 50, will sit either in my camera bag or more likely on my shelf. And I really don't like doing that to a good quality kit. And the same goes to the EM1 Mark I. <sighs> you know, Murphy's Law can kick in again, can't it? If I sell that, then the Mark II will develop a fault. <sighs> so I still have some decisions to make, but the good news is that I have decided to keep this lovely 12 to 40. So whether I'm gonna uh, get anything that I can call a keeper today is gonna be very debatable, but we'll see. Whatever I do get that I've taken over recent days and weeks with this combination I'll post on here for you to have a look at. Down there in the distance you can see a brand new bridge which has been built here in Princess Park. I'll just take a walk down there, give you a closer look and explain what's been going on. For those of you that uh, know the channel, you will know that my local park is this one, Princess Park just at the back of my house, to be honest with you. I do come down here pretty much every day. Now, uh, when it was designed and first opened, it featured an island, this island behind me, inaccessible to the public, and therefore quite a haven for wildlife and nesting birds, obviously, because the, the lake within Princess Park is very popular for fishermen. But the 
Toxteth area, which is where I live, has very strong links to the Mandela family. Their, if you like, society or organization or movement uh, petitioned to have this bridge constructed and for it to be a kind of memorial to Nelson Mandela and his work. And um, I'm not sure if you can pick it out, but on the island behind me, uh, there are some new uh, benches which will be unveiled in due course, I'm guessing in the new year, once the bridge has been officially opened. Uh, I don't know the exact connection between uh, the Mandela family and Toxteth. Whatever I can find out, I'll put <laughs> underneath or in the description if it's too long. Um, so yeah, we've now got a brand new footbridge. It's not open yet, but um, it is pretty much finished. And I guess they're just going to keep it uh, closed off until it's been officially opened in some sort of ceremony. I'm not the only one that is slightly concerned that the uh, island and the benches will fall subject to vandals. You know, graffiti artists. I hope that won't happen. But um, new features like this does tend to attract them. I'll intersperse as much, um, as many stills as I can that I think are worth me showing to people that I've taken with the 12 to 40 lens over the past few days and weeks. Um, one of which I'm particularly proud of, the one taken from the Denby Moors looking towards Erreri, Snowdonia. Um, I'll put that one in, but in all honesty, um, it was about 4.30, 4.45 in the evening and, you know, Mother Nature just created that amazing sky. Uh, fabulous. Really glad I went there. Very rare outing to North Wales these days. So all that's left for me to do is to once again wish everybody a very happy Christmas and have a wonderful New Year as well. And I will see you in 2024. So enjoy your photography. Stay safe. Bye for now.